um, a, a, a closed system in physics allows for the transfer of small parts of matter. Okay, more definitions. The system can be an open system or it can be a closed system or it can be isolated. And the definitions are also important here. Okay, an open system, as the name describes, allows mass and energy to freely flow through the boundary. Okay. Mass and energy flow through boundary. Okay. Mass and energy flow. I'm an open system. Right? Water vapor goes through my skin. I'm hot compared to the air of the room or cold if I'm somewhere that's warm. So energy can go back and forth. The thermos with a lid on top is not an open system. Hopefully your coffee is going to stay warm and hot in the thermos, right? It's not going to get out. So the thermos is not an open system. In fact, the thermos is an isolated system. The isolated system is the opposite of the open system. No mass and no energy can flow through the boundary. The closed system allows energy to transfer through the boundary, but not mass. So a closed system would be, for instance, a glass of ice water with an ice cube in it with a lid on top. Right? The glass is not very insulating. Energy can flow across the glass, but I put a lid on top, and so the water can't get out. Right? That's a closed system. Energy goes through the boundary, but nothing else. <laughs> Is it closed open? Earth is classed as a closed system in physics. That's not true because you, you claim to have astronauts leaving Earth. So yeah, um, a, a, a closed system in physics allows for the transfer of small parts of matter um, and, and energy. Um, it's not completely uh, isolated like an isolated system. It, it allows for some transfer of energy between systems. Um, whereas obviously an open system and isolated system are the other ends of those. Uh, so no. when, when, the, when we're talking about systems, the Earth is classed as a closed system um, and the universe is the only isolated system that there is.